Hello, and welcome to Turtle Power Pod. My name is Bassam. My name is Cranny. And today we are watching Season 4, Episode 4. Peking Turtle. Peking like the dish. Yeah, P-E-K-I-N-G. I always thought it was pecking because it's usually pecking duck. So And ducks peck. They Do they? Well, they have beaks. Mm. They have bills. Good point. Mm. They can still peck with bills, right? It's not as effectively. Sure. I guess so. I mean, anyone can peck with anything, right? I guess. hey <laughs> All right. All right. Let's talk about predictions. My prediction is Leo goes to the wrong part of Chinatown and gets jumped for his magic turtle spice. How will the turtles save him this time? Oh, damn. But you're supposed to predict how they will. Huh? That's a, that's a prediction. Oh, um, surprise, ellipsis, they don't, oh, exclamation, it's the end of the show, that's is it, yeah, the rest are filler, I'm really trying not to meta, because I know there's more episodes, I can see in the screenshots that Leo is probably in them, yeah, but, uh, Leo's dying in this episode, oh, damn, bold claim, bold claim, mine, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have to go undercover in a Chinese restaurant. Splinter gets overtly racist and is asked to leave. <laughs> Would you like to? <laughs> but he's Japanese. Yeah, but he's in a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> They're against each other. This is fact. Back in the day, anyway. He's like, it's like, let me do a little bit for you. And he like stands up and like. Has him like move the colander so like a spotlight's on him, and he's like, "What? How come all China people hold chopstick like this, but all Japanese people hold chopstick like this?" Then no one laughs, but they start booing at him. Yeah, and then he's like, "Ah, fuck off, you goddamn!" It's turned a little Irish. <laughs> yeah, I'm fuck like, off, you goddamn <laughs> racist words. <laughs> racist words. <laughs> racist words. <laughs> <That's Jamaican. laughs> we be racist. Um, I re- <laughs> we'll be back after these important messages. <laughs> Messages. Welcome back to Turtle Power Pod. Oh my gosh! Did you love? Did you love that break? I did. <laughs> did you? No. Well, yeah, because I got to watch an episode of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, we did. Um, we got a couple things on the agenda, my friend. Before we get into it, before we get into the breakdown, we, we want to do a toast, a toast to Mr. Sean. If you guys don't know already, where you been? We started a Patreon. It's Patreon.com/slash Turtle Power Pod, and one of the uh, reward tiers is that we'll give you a toast on the show. So we'll Give a toast to your name. Yeah, so this goes out to Sean H. Sean! Uh, <laughs> I guess I should clarify. Different Sean H. I didn't realize they were both H Sean. They're both Sean H. Yeah, different Sean H. You, God you know damn who it, you are. Sean. God. You know which d- one I'm talking it's to. It's the zombie one. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> you know who you are. Well, anyways, this goes out to you, Sean. I hope... That your generosity to us comes back on you a hundred times. That was a really nice toast. That would be like two hundred bucks. Two hundred times? I guess that would be be a lot more than two hundred. Uh, I guess that'd be a thousand times, a thousand bucks. I hope someone gives you a thousand dollars, and then you donate that back to us because it's because we did it. We did the work. It's a yeah. It's a self sustaining economy. <laughs> yeah. Tashar, I'm drinking vodka. <laughs> okay. This is the Moscow Pizza Special Vodka. Yeah. Goes down smooth. <sighs> Tastes like Ooh, communism. Uh, communism in a can. Hey. Oh, boy. All right. That's out of the way. Yeah, it is. Let's go ahead and uh, get on with the turtle breakdown. Bassum. So, we start off the episode in the lair, like we do a lot, and the turtles 
are going into their own Harlem uh, Globetrotters kind of routine. They even got music playing in the background. Yeah, it's like a Harlem Globetrotter sounding turtle theme. Turtle theme. Um, and they're so they're playing b ball outside the school. Uh, where their when their master comes up, who is up to no good, and started causing trouble in their neighborhood. Um, how many fights do they get in? One little fight. Oh, they don't have a mom or dad though. They got Splinter. Yeah, and he got scared. <laughs> what did he say? He said, "You're moving <laughs> with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air." Uh, okay, well, I'm... <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we can just do this that for great. the whole side up. This is great because uh, uh, Uncle Phil is Shredder. The late James Avery. Yes. Re- late respected, probably respected, James Avery. I would think so. I would hope so, but I don't know the man. <laughs> That's true. Bill Cosby, I thought, was pretty great. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Don't meet your heroes. I can't be the they only- might rape you. <laughs> well... <laughs> I think you should meet your heroes to see if they're really your hero. But honestly, you need to be your own hero. And anyone who don't... I can be your hero, Cranny. Hey, guys, remember to stick up for yourselves, because no one else is going to do it for you. That's true. The earlier you start doing that reasonably, um, the earlier you could live a prosperous life. So they're playing basketball, and they teach Splinter how to dunk, and he starts whooping their ass. Um, and, and then he just fucking books it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so, then the basketball magically turns on the TV. How do you play this uh, basketball? <laughs> Is it out here? Goodbye, turtles. <laughs> <laughs> Green turtles can't jump. Suck on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> so then uh, up at the museum, they've discovered these are this army of uh, stone warriors marble marble chinese yeah they're not like magical they're just stone marble they might be magical but the per- there's a jade dragon which doesn't come into play again at all but the pearl that it's holding god that dragon never came back i know it's upsetting the dragon could have been the coolest part i know or the worst part definitely maybe it's good they didn't maybe yeah. they maybe they animate and then they're like no oh, this is god shit. that's shit for our standards <laughs> so but it's holding a pearl that's a superconductor. It's the biggest pearl in the world. Period. And um, the biggest period pearl. And uh, Krang wants it. When you're on your period, hold on. We're still on the breakdown, man. I'm just concerned. Let's go. That's fine. <laughs> Sorry. I found pearls this morning. Oh no. Oh no. And I thought maybe it had something to do with my period, but then I was like, I don't Wait even a get second. a period. I yeah. haven't gotten a period in years. No. Yeah. You, no, I've never had a period. Oh, because I'm, I'm a. You've gotten a. Never. Mind. We'll talk about this later after the breakdown. But uh, someone Google period pearls and don't on WebMD and you probably don't help me figure this out. So I'm real nervous. <laughs> Bladder cancer. Ooh, if I'm lucky. <laughs> Listen, cancer Ladies. sucks. But if you're gonna get it, it might as well be bladder cancer. Yeah, the coolest of the cancers. It's the coolest of the cancers. Um, Shredder, uh, takes a device that Krang built and puts it on all the soldiers and they they come come to life. life. And that's because it's a sciencey marble. That's like an ionized marble. It's not like just any rock. They put the pearl in like the super conductor. Yep. And it super conducts. Yep. And then the soldiers come to life. And they fight the turtles. They fight the turtles. And they're really hard to beat. But the turtles start to beat them. Uh, they beat one kind of like cleverly, but then there's just too many. There's an there's army. A ton of them. But then they they figure out that uh, uh, Shredder has a remote. And so they, they get rid of the it. pearl. Yeah, they remove the pearl, and then they destroy the remote. Well, we're getting a little, little too far ahead. Oh. So they get the one. They come out, and they're like, but there's so many of them. And then, but they start beating them anyway. And then Bebop and Rocksteady are like, oh, Shredder. They're not kicking our butts and stuff, and we don't know what to do. And he's like, all right, I don't know. And then Krang is like, ah, capture April. Hostage. And then Shredder's like, that's not a bad idea. Um, And then 
he fourth walls, which we'll get into, which was amazing. Um, so they, the statues surround April's Channel 6 van with her and Vern in it. The turtles are like, shit, how are we going to get them this time? They're like, we'll use the blimp. And they're like, all right. Great. And then the stone. So they, they land on the museum. They land the on the museum while the stone, the stone people lift up the fucking news van and just take it to the museum. I don't know why they would go back there, but they do. And then they. <laughs> to protect Shredder. There's so many better places to protect him. Yeah. Like that museum is always shit. They what? always go to the museum. Yeah. Anyway, the turtles bust in. Then they get the pearl. Then they break the remote. Then the turtle. Then the statues go back to being just stone. Yep. And then Shredder Guess runs what? away. Yeah, but. Oh, yeah. You already ruined the surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize Guess... it was going to be a surprise. I thought it was a surprise. If you Did get, you think this was going to be the time they fight to the death? Yeah. Oh. There's new villains from here on out. <laughs> no, nope, uh, but lo and behold, Bebop, Rock Shredder. Bebop, Rock, Rock Shredder. Shredder. <laughs> well, uh, long story short, both our predictions were wrong. Yeah, and they get away. Nothing interesting happens. And then they eat a Mongolian pizza, which is kind of cool. Yeah. And we'll talk about that more later, too. Yes, we will. Wow, what a great breakdown. Yeah, good job, Cranston. Good Thanks job. for picking it up at the end. Thanks for getting the, the first part, buddy. Good job on the first part. Handshake. That was nice. Thank you. Let's do it again. That one was nice, too. That was nice. Let's do a left-handed shake. I can't. Oh, I forgot about your culture. Yes. And left-handed shakes. Yes. He won't even get a milkshake that's handed to him by someone with their left hand. Especially not someone who's left-handed. If they're le- well, yeah. What's the problem with left-handed people again? Well, they're the devil. My brother is left-handed, Mimo. Yeah, he's been on the show before. He's all right. He's all right. But he's left-handed. So how much can I actually love him? You know, is that a is that rhetorical? I mean, kind of. I feel like you could just love him, like normal. But he's left-handed, so no way. Doesn't the devil too deserve some love? No, it's the devil. Cranston. Who are we talking about? I don't know. The devil. I think this is like a metaphor for racism. Yeah. Or homophobia or something. My first note. Yes. So we talk they're playing basketball. It's pretty funny because Splinter they're like like, Hey Splinter, you wanna try? And he's like, Yes, I would Love to. Well, first he's, well, first he's like, no, training is way more important. No, he says he's like doesn't want to embarrass himself. <laughs> no, I could be very bad. Yes, thank you. <laughs> One of those. What good's a four-man basketball team? I fear I'm not good at Western pastimes. The toes are like, nah, man, it's cool. It's cool. We're all friends. He's like, okay, I just, get shot. A, just a little bit. And then he like winks at the camera. He's totally hustling on hustling <laughs> them. He doesn't wink. Double but. or nothing? Like, oh, you beat me so good. How about we put just a little bit of money? Well, yeah, you want to put like five dollars? No, five dollars is not enough money. No, we put more like seven million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Seems pretty fair. I think we could take him, guys. Four against one. So he basically just like starts dribbling the ball everywhere, and then he just runs out of the sewer. Yeah, and just starts running away, and the turtles are all like, "Come back!" But apparently that means he's skilled, because the next I frame guess. he's like dunking and shit. Yeah, they're doing like hardcore training. Yeah, but that's not my note. But I appreciate it. My note is, God damn it! I know. <laughs> so. It's finally like out of ep- nowhere. It's finally an episode where they're not watching Channel Six News to start, and and April is not having an emergency in there at all. No April yet. Well, they're like the ball gets out of someone's hand and starts bouncing around, which is fine. I thought it was gonna break the TV. Yeah, which would have been wonderful, but instead it like bounces all over the place, turns on the TV in the middle of an April O'Neil broadcast. God damn it! Doing news 
about then, the thing that's important. It's the same opening every time. So it's her in the museum. And she's talking about the, the statues. The marble army of General Chen Cheng. Identical marble warriors from the Ying Dynasty of China 2,000 years ago. And all of them created to protect the greatest of the emperor's treasures. This jade dragon holding the world's largest pearl. Because she says that they're from... She says they're they're from the Chin Chang Dynasty. No, no, no. They're from the Ying Dynasty. They're from the Ying Dynasty. It's, it's General... Uh, G- General it's, it's the Chin Marble Chang. Army of General Chin Chang. Is Chin Chang... Is that racist? I don't know. I don't know. Like, every... I was thinking... So the stereotype is like... Okay, I, let me go into character. I was like, ah, yeah, all their Ching Chang Chong talk. Ah, I'm ignorant. I'm ignorant of other things I don't understand. Even though if I got to know them as people, I'd probably realize that we're all the same. And then we could unite together to make, you know, a good society. But fuck that. But fuck that. Ching Chang Chong. It's like, but did that start because there was a Chin Chang? I don't know. I don't, I, know. I don't know what came first. Although I was thinking today in this episode, for the first time I realized, I know that Splinter is a rat, yes. but, but he is a Japanese character with buck teeth. <laughs> He is. <laughs> right? <laughs> and I don't know if that's on purpose. Mm. Mm. <laughs> right? I don't I don't know. I don't, Mickey I don't Mouse even... doesn't have buck teeth. Yeah. I don't even want to speculate. That's that's a rough one. I don't even want to speculate. If someone knows the true answer, they can uh I don't know, call us on the phone. Yeah. Or Twitter, whatever is easier. <laughs> Probably that one. My first note was... Is it hands? The pizza. Oh, yes. Uh, because the ball bounces into Michelangelo's face as he's bringing a pizza in. Fucks up his pizza. It's a gumdrop choco chip pizza. Yep. So we got a pizza. We got a pizza right it's out the gate. It's going on the list. And that's a good start because the pizza is the hardest thing to come by. It is. So if we start with a pizza, there's a good chance we can be Mondo Fabuloso. I don't know yet. Do you want... need to find out. I know. Stay tuned. Or Table do, that. Or don't. You could just pause it and then just make sure you listen to the whole episode. Yes. At some point. You don't have to do it in one sitting. That's fine. This isn't live. You know, it's live for a, I can't pause live, but you know, you can pause the podcast. Any what else? What what's your next note? Hands. <laughs> the hands. Okay. The hands on the pearl. There, so <laughs> April makes it a point to say that this giant jade dragon, um, which looks kind of shit. It looks real shit. But that's what made me think it was going to come to life. Right. Yeah. It's animated so poorly that you assume that they're at literally going to like make it move. Yeah. So it's holding this giant pearl. It's, it's a green, you know, colored dragon. Solid, same green. Every eye, everything's no shading, the same. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fuck shading. And then in the next shot, you see the hands holding the pearl in frame with April, but they're human colored hands, like pink hands. Yeah. And Bassam immediately was like upset about this. I was. And I was, I thought it was a setup. He he thought there was something happening that we didn't see yet. Well, we did see it kind of. Um, so Vern like backs up and like, knocks over a light when he's filming it and, and it like, bumps against one of the statues it bumps against a sh- statue and it, flickers. and it flickers like blue like like it gets electrocuted and i assumed it was coming to life so when it cut to human hands holding the thing i was expecting to see like this gross eraser looking flesh colored dragon oh like it had it had come to life and it was going to be like, hi, everybody. Do you want to see my pearl? Something like that. Yeah. He looks like he would talk that way. Yeah, definitely. I can't guarantee what. I'm the Jade Dragon. Absolutely. I you protect are. General Ching Chang's pearl. It's the biggest pearl in the world. Hey, uh, buddy. They call it the World Pearl. I love your World Pearl. It's so cool. Thank you. I think you have such a cool job. <laughs> I'm so 
I'm so impressed. Can I, can I just see it? I'm sorry. I just want to see the pearl. But they don't have to kill you. You don't have to kill me. I have to. It's in my bones. It's in my bones. jade bones. My flesh color jade bone. You're not even jade anymore. I know. Can on I, the outside. Can I just look at it real close? You can look at it, but not close. You have to stay behind the yellow line. Oh, fuck. I didn't even see the yellow line here. There it is. Back the fuck up. All right, fuck. I'm backing up. Now take a look at the world pearl. Can I see? I just Isn't saw, it beautiful? It's pretty beautiful. Give me that fucking pearl. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> he fucking killed me. Yeah. That's what happens when you mess Shit. with the, the jade dragon. I thought that was going to go where he was going to be like, here, you be the pearl guy. I'll be like, I'm the jade dragon. Hey, can I see your pearl? Sure. Thank you. Here you go. <laughs> You're just like, <laughs> and you fucking. Oh, and then You're I done. run? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I got your pearl. Ninja vanish. Okay. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck with the curse. <laughs> <laughs> the, the jade curse. Good luck. I'm fucking free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hot dog. I can see my family again. Let's see. How long has it been? Millennia, you say? <laughs> Hmm. Millennium? Oh no, Millennia is dual. My a bad. Millennium. More like Millennium. Oh! <laughs> I. <c> <laughs> Fine, let's move on. <laughs> All right. Were you going to say more like Millennium? No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I wish I thought of that. I'm glad you did. <laughs> uh, so, Donatello has the distinct honor in this episode. To say the first actually scientifically accurate thing he's ever said in the show. Yeah, they're talking about... Uh, the pearl. Well, that pearl's pretty cool, dude. And he's like, well, it's just a calcareous secretion from a marine bivalve. <laughs> Babes go wacky over the weirdest things. It's nothing but a piece of shiny rock. Not a rock. It's the calcareous secretion of a marine bivalve. Like, oh, oh, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You're right. You're absolutely right. Good job. Huh. Yeah. Well, that's well, not usually. Yeah. Let's see how you fuck up the rest of it. <laughs> yeah. You get one. Everyone gets one. Right. Per season. Yeah. But then later, Shredder is now in the museum at in night. In the museum. He gets sent by Krang. Of course he's sent by Krang. We both knew immediately, like, oh, I think as they're showing the pearl, Bassam did a Krang voice. He's like, yeah, Shocky, get me that pearl. Yes, I did. And then immediately it cuts to Crane and Shredder He's talking like, about how he needs the pearl. We need the pearl, Shredder. Did you hear that, Shredder? That giant pearl is of incredible purity. Meaning? It will magnify an electrical charge to such an intensity as to create the most powerful force field beam ever known. Powerful enough to pull this technodrome back to Earth. Uh, the bonus is that... Bonus. <laughs> the bonus is that the, mar bonus. Uh, the marble is a very rare ionized marble, Ooh. which means you can electrocute it and it turns to life. You know, like anything that's ionized. Yeah. Fucking ionized water. Yeah, don't... Careful when you drink that water. It can turn to life in your body. Yeah. Definitely don't pour it on any statues that are shaped like demons. Definitely not. That's the worst thing you can do. That's worse than a curse from a world pearl. It's worse than the curse. Worse from the than the curse from a world pearl. Stupid. Uh, so <laughs> Shredder. I'm Mc glad that you didn't say yeah. anything. Shredder to help, though. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know, I know when to cut my losses. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, Shredder goes around and meticulously puts on a fucking like collar, like bow tie looking thing on everyone, on each of the marble statues. Yeah, and it turns them <laughs> to life after they push the button. Yeah. Yeah. There's a button. But then they can control them by remote. Great. Bebop and Rocksteady are sent with the general, which is weird that the general goes first. 
instead of being like a final boss kind of a thing. I mean, if he's the most powerful, I get it. Um, Seems like it'd be better to do like a strategic. We, we're always going to think of something better than Shredder and Crane came up yes, with. Yes, if we don't, then something's wrong with us. Or, so, or they finally made a right decision. Yes. Um, I've never seen an episode of this that's like, oh, wow, that's fucking genius. Yeah, good job. Oh, that could work. Wow, that plan's tight. Yeah. That's a tight plan. <laughs> tight like my I can't wait for that day, penis. though. Um, Do you have a tight penis? We get a fourth wall break, though. Do you, or are we talking about a penis? Do you have a tight penis? No. Fourth wall break. Um, Shredder sends Bebop and Rocksteady to kill the turtles with General yes. Ching Chang. Yes. God, it just sounds wrong when I say that. Chin Chang. Sorry. God. If you add the, if you say Ching Chang, it's, it's racist. If you say Chin Chang, it's fine because okay. it's a quote. Okay. But if you misquote it, you're you're accidentally racist. Sorry. Um, General Chin Chang is sent with Bebop. General who? And <laughs> Rocksteady. Chin Chang. Yeah. What, say it one more time. Chin Chang. And one more time. Good. <laughs> what? <laughs> Trigger! <laughs> I'm so triggered! Let me get to this fourth wall break. He looks at us and says, This is going to be fun. <laughs> that's, that's the thing about triggered people, is their emotions become before everything else. Which is kind of triggering, really. Drop what you're doing, I'm triggered. <laughs> I'm so so triggered. Yes, I'm triggered. Um, that's all I have to say about that. I'm a triggered oh. man. This is a little further in. I don't know if you have any notes. I got some notes Give to me step some. back a little bit. Yeah. So, oh, God, there's so many. <laughs> okay. I don't even know where to start on this. Krang, Take your time. Krang, specifically wants to get the pearl so he can take over earth yes but he wants to go back to earth yes it's like with that pearl we can surely get back to earth why though why do you want to go back you spent an entire season trying to leave it i still go back to this thing where he's on his home planet though and with build a your portal. army with a portal with a portal they can go between dimensions go anywhere else well, I hope the turtles don't stop us this time. You know where they won't be able to stop you? Anywhere else. Literally anywhere else. Any other state. Ever, all of this takes place within 22 minutes. Just go an hour away. Teleport an hour away. You know where the turtles aren't? Washington, D.C. Florida. Do you, do you know what a more important place to take over would be? If Washington, you D.C. World domination? Yeah, Washington, D.C. London. London? Great. Sure. Yeah. China, Russia, Japan, your Japan. home country. I mean, you could even you could just start with North Korea and work your way over. I mean, it's not like you're going after the U.S. for a specific reason. The fuck is North Korea's problem, man? They're idiots. I mean, besides that, they it's all dick measuring, man. Yeah, and it's dick measuring with. The most violent dick in the world. I don't understand Stupid. what they're thinking. I guess South Korea were finally like, because uh, didn't North Korea test like an ICBM? Yeah. Uh, and South and then Korea we did a was like, like, if you launch one of those, we will. <laughs> we're working. Actually, while you're launching your nukes, we're working on a team to assassinate North Korean world leaders. World leaders. Oh, North sorry. Korean country leaders. North Korea. <laughs> North- so it's 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 Portland, Oregon, United States, North Korea, the world <laughs> in that order. <laughs> outer space. Yes. Uh Mars, uh rest of space, the dark stuff, Milky Way, Snickers, and then the edge of the universe. In that order, yes. Okay, good. And there's a handy, <laughs> what is it called? Anagram a handy? Or, a handy anagram or whatever. Oh, yeah. Repeat that back to me, please. <laughs> it, 
My mother always. <laughs> if I if I remembered what you said, I would come up with something. We'll do that next time. Someone come up with a funny anagram. Yes. Um. <laughs> there's a part where it's a, it's not a man anagram. It's a onomatopoeia. Uh, no, no, not onomatopoeia. That's it's like a mono- that's like the th- word uh, smirked. Yeah. Smirked or thwip. Whip. Oh, anyway. thwip me again. Thwip me harder, daddy. Oh, thwip me harder, daddy. Spider daddy. Daddy. What's up? What is, why would you say that? What? Daddy? To thwip me harder. <laughs> I don't know what it means. Not you. Yeah, I know, but what does it mean? It's a play on words. What two words? Thwip, which is an onomatopoeia popularized by the comic book Spider-Man. Yeah, but what you said. And it's... whip, which is a whip, which whips people. Dad, you can't, it's, you can't say it's thwip and whip, and it's just thwip. I'm using the word, the noise thwip, as if it's the word whip. Do I... Sweetie, you make my jokes really less funny when I have to deconstruct them for you. Oh, that was a joke. I, I was trying. Daddy, you need to try harder. You need to fucking. Daddy, don't take off your belt. I'm taking off my belt because to thwip you with ta- it. Once you take off your belt, I will unleash my power. I'm worried about the levels. <laughs> I would be worried about the power the, levels. The power levels. <laughs> <laughs> what, 9,000? Anyway, let's, uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know where we're going. I might have said more funny stuff, but we'll I never whipped, know. I thwipped him. Thwip me. Uh, there's a part where. Yeah. So Shredder's like, I'm going to send Bebop. Krang's like, smart. Good idea. Rock steady. Ah, Even smarter. Uh, yep, yep, yep. And this rock, not rock soldier, but marble soldier general. Oh, okay. And then he explains this by going, I'm sending them a sewer surprise. Oh, yeah. What about those turtles? I don't want them in a sewer Never fear. I've already sent them a sewer surprise they won't forget. <laughs> For once, you might actually carry out a task successfully. Why, thank you, Crank. Yeah, and I might begin to like broccoli. And it sounded to me like he just like took a dump and then like flushed it down the toilet. He's like, the turtles will never expect this. Well, that's true. <sighs> <sighs> Give me a minute. <laughs> Gross. That was the whole joke. That's a good joke. It sounds it, it's it's a poop joke. I think oh. it sounds like he's talking about poop. Oh. oh, bang bang, bang bang. What's next? I think we got a cowabunga. We got a cowabunga. Oh no, we also got a Geronimo. Let's uh, let's go back from there. Let's go back from here. What did you really want to say? When Shredder has his army ready yes. to start marching, yes. He starts doing the typical marching left, chant. Left, 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 right, right, left. But he changes it up. Now forward, march. You left, you left, you left your wife and 48 kids. <laughs> what? That's so good. You left your wife and 48 kids. Is that, is it like a no smoke without fire thing? Like <laughs> Shredder like, actually like. Pulling from his own. Yeah, back in Japan when he was rising to power, he was like, I just can't handle this, babe. She's like, What do you mean you can't handle it? I raised him all on my own and then it fucking came out of me and you I just made need, it. I just need some space. Yeah, I need some space too. We have 48 children. Ah, I have 48 children. You don't even I'll help. send you money. Well, that's fine. How much money? I don't know. Enough to pay for the 48 children. That's why he's driven to crime, you see. Ha! He needs to take over the world to pay for those She'll never find me in Dimension X. Yeah. (laughs) I'm finally away from that bitch. Crang, 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 crang. No, 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 no. no. Crang, crang, crang. We cannot go back to Earth. Yeah. You have have no idea. I have have scorned a woman. Dimension X has no fury like a woman scorned. Sure. I guess. I guess. <laughs> Either way, don't go back because I, I can't. BBC, right? Ha! Now let's go to a cowabunga. Oh, no, another thing. 
another thing. There's a Let's funny, go back to that thing. I just have a note. It's not nothing big. There's a part where Shre- it's uh, pretty big. Where Leonardo says, "We're saving ourselves for Shredder." Yes, <laughs> that's a funny line. Why are we hiding? We can take those guys. We're saving ourselves for Shredder. I don't think they intended it to sound like he was talking Absolutely about. Absolutely, they didn't. I don't think they meant he was saving his virginity to fuck Shredder. But goddamn, that's a good line. Like, honestly, people, if you could have Shredder be your first, I don't care if you like the guy. I don't care if you are a guy and don't like guys. Um, you'd be crazy to pass that you'd up. You'd be crazy to pass it up, like, just for the posterity of it. Yeah. Like, I don't think Britney Spears is hot now, but I'd still fuck her. Then or now? Either, really. What about Casey? Back then. Well, I mean, for the posterity, though. We just discussed this. Yeah, but I, I'm talking about back when you lost your virginity. I'm not talking about now. When you're in a committed relationship. Oh, uh, well, I was technically in a committed relationship when I lost my virginity. Yes. Did you lose your virginity to the person you're in a relationship with? Oh, yeah. So you understand why why there would be a problem. I don't get it. Just ju- Okay. That'd be cheating. Oh, I thought we meant like simply cut cut and paste. What do you mean? Like you cut like off remove, your, your remo- genitals and shove it inside <laughs> Britney Spears? Up. And then glue it in there. And then glue it in there. So I'm constantly losing my virginity to her. Oh, per- Permanently. Permanently <laughs> losing my... <laughs> so remember, if you really want to be so with in someone... That case, no, I don't want to lose my virginity to Shredder. <laughs> yeah, because you don't want to... C- Cut off your penis and somehow <laughs> adhere it inside Shredder. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah, it is. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Let's talk about the cowbunga. So let's do that. Wait, go back. Okay. No, let's actually talk about okay. the cowbunga. I was, During- to, I was trying to joke. Oh, you're trying to joke my juke. Joke your juke joke. Don't uh, joke about jukes. When they're, fu- when, they're fighting, when they're fighting the marble army, Raphael and uh, Michelangelo get on top of some boxes. And they both jump off, and Michelangelo yells, Cowbunga. And Raph yells, Geronimo! Geronimo! Which is not as exciting. If Geronimo! Raph also set, yelled it, would we count that as two? I would. I would too. Yeah. Yeah. Geronimo, money, mo problems. That's all I had to say about that. Geronimoses. What notes do you got, buddy? Try and keep it on track. You seem distracted. I had a note that said Geronimo Moses. Um, my next note is in regards to when the turtles are having a quick powwow about how they're going to take on these marble soldiers. Um, it cuts to Mikey and Donnie, and they turn back. Like, the camera's suddenly behind them, which is fucking weird no matter when. You you don't break the 180 degree. Yeah. Anyway, it cuts to behind them. They turn towards us, and we're... Expected I guess to believe that they're talking to the other turtles. To the other turtles, but when they cut back, like... They're, they're in the back row. in the back. So it's like they turn around to talk to themselves, and then talk... It's just fucking stupid. <laughs> it's just weird, tiny continuity errors. You were more taken aback by it. Well, just because I want you to understand, like he thought I was trying to make a defense for a fourth wall break, and I was so he, so he was he just defensive. Kept, he just kept shutting me down, and I'm like, no, all I need you to know is that this is stupid. And then I was like, shit, oh, and oh, shit, bad. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> like you got to listen to the words I'm saying at the moment. <laughs> at the b- moment. Yeah, uh, my b- birds make more sense in the b- moment. And then let's talk about the fourth wall that happens right about then. I would love to. When Krang has the ingenious idea to kidnap April O'Neil to hold her hostage against the turtles, Shredder says, hmm, that's not a bad idea. I mean, we've done that about 30, 30 times, times already, now, but, but who's but... counting? Mm, not a bad idea. Although we've done that at least 30 times before, but hey, who's counting? And he looks at the camera and he's like, ah, ah, ah. It's a fourth wall break. It's a fourth wall break. And it's a good one. Can I ask you a question? Did you love that one? I did love it. 
Good. Do you have any notes between now and the end? Yeah, we got another fourth wall break. Another fourth wall break? There's a great moment where Leonardo is fighting or something. He's probably fighting. Probably fighting. And he makes a funny remark. How about we flip for this? Heads I win. Tails you lose. <laughs> but then he looks at us and says, And you thought only the other turtles made witty remarks. Wow, I can't believe he just said that. <laughs> Good fourth wall. Yes. Um, let's. Do you want to talk about the 12 hours, 34 minutes, 11 seconds bullshit? Oh, my God. Sure. Donatello had one. Well, I have... I okay. okay. And then they took it away. Here's, here's what... So they're like having to fight all these marble soldiers to get to April. And Donnie's like... They ask Donnie, like, how long is this going to take? Donnie's like, well, let me see. And he like pulled out his abacus. He's like, <laughs> well, well, one, one took four minutes. Uh-huh. And I'm, but I'm like, okay, great. Yep. He's Simple like, math so far. He's like, in four takes 20 minutes. Okay, your math is breaking down. It's like, is it because it's like four on one takes more time? Or is it like you can do one in four minutes, but it takes... Longer if you have to defeat four. I don't know. I think it's the classic uptown down, uh, uptime downtime. Yeah. Problem where, you know, how many dudes can you jerk off? How long would it take to jerk off 1,800 dudes? We're going to win even if I have to go into the auditorium and personally jerk off every guy in the audience. That's a lot of jerking. Yeah, even if he's jerking two at a time, there are what? 800 guys in that room, so that's 400 times whatever the mean jerk time is. Unless Ehrlich jerks off four guys at a time, and then we can cut that in half. How would he do four guys? He's got two hands, so that's two dicks at a time, right? Look, you have two guys on either side with their dicks tip to tip, so you're going full length. Four, see? Oh, from the middle out. That does make sense. Here's how you, you do it. You know what I'm talking about, right? I don't, but I'm going to tell people how to jerk off four dudes at once. Okay. Here's what you need to do. Okay, listen closely. Stand with your arms akimbo. You have two people stand next to you, parallel to you. Uh, okay. And then you have two people stand directly across from them. Now, these would all need to be people with penises. Yes. So duh. what they do is they get erect. Men or women. I don't care who has the penis penis holders. Yeah. Um, you're the penis hold E. So what they need to do is get hard and then come together so, right now. so their penises are right next to each other. And then Oh, so they're the, kind of frotting? Yeah. Okay. Frotting? Yeah. What's that? Uh when two dicks rub together? Yeah. Yeah. But then you take your hand, you grab both dicks on either side, and when you jerk up or you could even alternate nah alternate is uncomfortable he's doing the motion to really... i was doing the motion I'm like oh that i yeah, feel like i'm gonna fall over yeah. yeah immediately i'm like that's not good for your core <laughs> so when when you go forward you're 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 jerking forward on two of the dicks but you're going back on the other two when you bring it back the other way it's like you're going forward on those dicks in the back you're gonna need a lot of lube here um Depending on what these guys are into, they might not like lube. They might they might respond better with more with more friction, with more pain. Some people are into that. That's why the thwipping. Some people like dirty talk, so you're gonna want to talk dirty. Some people don't like dirty talk. You're gonna really have to evaluate all four people every time. Really get to know them. And honestly. What I would do is wait until one guy comes. He steps out. You keep jerking. The other guy needs to get his, his erect penis. He needs to get into your hand. So you don't stop. Yeah. And they all, everyone, all those 18,000 people, or 1,800. 1,800. All 1,800 people need to know this going in. So you're going to need, you're going to need to pass out flyers. You're going to need to pass out flyers. You're going to need to make sure everything under, Maybe everyone a understands mass before. SMS text. Because, Efficiency is really going to go down the tubes once uh, we get in this. Yeah. And if one guy is, is late, it's going to throw off the whole thing. It's going to ruin your whole time. Yeah. 
I believe we were talking about uh, the math of <laughs> Donatello fighting rock soldiers. All right, and then he's like, "Never yeah, let me get on my anarchist. He's like, so so I guess we could beat them all in, in 12 hours, 34 minutes, and 11 seconds. And we both were upset by that. It's just it's stupid for a lot of reasons. For uh, if you can mathematically figure that out, I feel like it's on a curve. So each I, I added f- opponent adds a certain amount of time because of difficulty added. Well, that's how I justify it. It's because he's taking in account a lot of variables. Yes, of the fight that we can't perceive. Because he's so smart. Because he's so smart. And he, I mean, he is always right. He knows right. that pearls are simply calcareous secretion from a marine bivalve. But who doesn't? <laughs> That's what true. the fuck is a non-marine vi- bivalve? Yeah, I don't know if there is one. I'm going to name all the bivalves I know. Clam. Muscle. Oyster. Muscle. Great. There's probably more. Like, you know, bigger clam. Bigger Pro- muscle. Probably a clam called giant clam. They love to name things giant from the ocean. But the problem with that they don't is... don't call it like a whale clam. The ocean is so vast. It's like what happens when you go down deep... Gargantuan. To the Marianas Trench. Yeah. Gargantuan, Gargantuan squid. Gargantuan squid. Super giant. Like... For real giant this time. For real giant. <laughs> Actually giant. <laughs> but anyways... Oh, they learn a lesson. They actually learn a lesson. Holy shit, guys. We were both a little excited about this. So at the beginning, they're all playing basketball together. Uh Uh-huh. And, you know, oh, it's not, it's a waste of time. Is what Splinter says. It's like, no, it's not. It's it's valuable. And then he learns the value of it. Because at the end. But then at the end, they're they're taught, they get the pearl and they're like tossing around like they're playing uh, the ball basket game. (laughs) Yeah. The ho- and they get a home run and everything. What's it called? Hoops and shoots? Hoops and shoots and ladders. Hoops and... Well, there's ladders would be cheating. That's true. Do you know how but stupid shoots you sound aren't? sometimes? But shoots aren't? <laughs> Hoops and shoots. You shoot. You shoot the ball. Oh, I, thought, the you, I thought you meant a shoot. No, why would it be shoot? I thought like the ball C-H-U-T-E-S? would... Like C-H-U-T-E-S? Yeah. Why would it be shoot? <laughs> I don't know. Hoops and shoots ball. Yeah. Okay. That's what everyone calls it. Okay. What do you call it? What is it called in your country? Basket. Basket. Yeah. That seems like that would get very confusing. You make it in the basket. Because that sounds a lot like basket bases, which is our game where you hit balls with a bat. (laughs) This is very confusing. It's really confusing. And then you have feet, but anyways. you have feet balls. <laughs> you know what they call feet balls in every other country? NFL. <laughs> uh, and, so okay, it, it's so like, they keep keep they it actually away, reference what happens, which is the first time <laughs> ever. Every intro, they're like, "Remember to always floss." They're like, "I don't have time to floss." And then you figure they're gonna have to floss the Technodrome or something like to like, do. Oh no! It turns out because he had gingivitis, gingivitis that they were able to to catch him. The so plaque will help the me. The plaque will. The plaque. And then I learned to brush my teeth every day. Exactly. Yeah, but, but that no. never happens. This they're, time he's always they... like, "Remember to floss," and they're like, "Shut up!" And then they never talk about it again. And then Splinter's probably not in the episode anymore anyway. <laughs> well, this time, <laughs> this time they keep away the pearl. With their Harlem Globetrotters skills. Yeah. And then they destroy the remote, and the army stops. And they perform a uh, a TTR. A tactical turtle recall. Retreat. Oh, good point. Good T-T- remembering. TTR. A night to remembrance. There's a part where all of the statues are on top of... Bebop and Rocksteady. Bebop and Rocksteady. And Shredder's like, oh, you wimps, I'll do it. And he like presses a button and they all start like flying off of him. I feel like they just took the animation of them falling on them and reversed, <laughs> reversed it. it. You know what it reminded me of, That's though? What it looks like, yeah. You ever play, uh, you know Skyrim, how you can get the 
you can get mods and stuff, but you can also just use the console to just like generate things. Yes. And it's they all like, kind of get packed together and then yeah. explode. It's like all of a sudden someone just like, <laughs> yeah, it just like and all generated like a million, everywhere. yeah, like a million statues in a pile. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then let's talk about the very end. They're making a new Skyrim. No, they are not. Oh, they're making Skyrim VR. Oh. They are making a new Skyrim. With, uh, and you can play as Link. I bet Skyrim's coming to Switch. Yeah, you can play as Link. Is it really coming to Switch? Yeah, I think so. You yeah. get, you get the Master Sword and Shield. Guys, we're so happy here to announce the Xbox 7. It's got 7X. It's wonderful. Now, I know a lot of you aren't going to want to spend $1,300 on a new console, but, but here's what you get. Let me tell you about our launch title. We got Skyrim Special Edition Woo! Special. That's right. The classic 2010 game. No. 2000 what? 2015? 2014? It's like seven years old now, right? Yeah. 2010 game. Wow. Was it right? Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. It's a good game. Yeah. I still play it and basically mod it till it breaks. And then slightly less mod it. And then slightly less mod it and then play it till I'm bored with it. <laughs> Which is usually a few days. Look, But look I'll, at, I'll always reinstall look it Look at Splinter's face. He's like, you fucking guys. <laughs> this fucking the shit. So help me God. I'm done with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> but we get another pizza at the end. Yeah, we do. I'm going to put the whole clip in here because it's real good. Do it. Sensei, you've got to try this bun schnitzel's Mongolian pizza. It's most perfecto. Dare I ask, what is in it? The usual Mongolian munchies, ox burgers, and yak cheese. We get a pizza. Boom. So, we don't know yet. There was some contention. Uh, Yes. I think... Heated. He I don't know about heated. Well, I'm heated. Oh, really? Yeah. You want to talk about it off air? Well, I mean, let's talk now. Let me then. give you a massage. No. No, Shh. stop it. Shh. You look like you're kneading bread. I don't really get in there. You look really... like you're angrily folding Play-Doh. Oh, I'm trying to massage you so hard. You don't feel anything? No. I'm doing as hard as I can. I'm made of ionized marble. Oh, my God. It's because of the curse. I was wondering why you're so stiff. Really get that elbow in there. Yeah. <laughs> Let me try to. What if I got some like buffing compound? Cranston, I don't know why you need a VR headset because you seem to have all the imagination you need. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're acting it all out anyway. Yeah. You don't need that. I feel like if you actually act it out, it actually reads on the microphone. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely. So go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me what the pizza is about contention. Oh, well, I know. So we know that there's ox meat burger. Yeah. We know that there's yak cheese. Correct. And I was on the impression that it was like a list. Like classically, they'll like put a bunch of items and then they just kind of trail off. That's, that's the way he kind of does the inflection too. Yeah, I can hear that. And typically... Typically, we don't worry about like if the if they are just eating a pizza. Every pizza on the show looks like it's pepperonis and mushroom. Typically, period. But I, the only reason I think we should consider adding mushroom to the pizza is because when you go to a Mongolian place, there's always mushrooms. Always. Uh, okay. And if if my appropriation actually, I don't know about that. Knows anything. Okay. Is that if they have it at the Mongolian restaurant, it's got to be Mongolian food. Ox burger, yak cheese, mushroom. Mic drop! So you want to put mushroom on it, and I don't think it should be on it. Fair enough. I'm not too. Do we want to put it up to poll? Sure. We'll put it up on a poll. Well, let's worry about it when it wins, and we'll have forgotten about it by then anyway. Great. <laughs> Well, I want to list it on there. Yeah. It'll come up. Hey, do you guys want to vote on pizzas? All you got to do is become a Patreon member. You can do it as cheap as you want. You get to vote. 
But don't worry, because everyone gets to see the pizzas and watch the reaction videos. Yeah, and we are working on one right now. We just ate uh, the Moscow Pizza Special. We'll have a video coming up soon, if it's not already out, as well as a bonus uh, episode where we talk about it. I invite you into my kitchen. I I walk you through the process, and I teach you how to make your own Moscow pizza special at home. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's easy. It's great. And if you want to vote on pizza, if you want to be the Patreon, you can support our crippling hobby so we can buy more pizzas and shove them in our fat, disgusting mouths. Fantastic. Yes. Yes. You can do all that at patreon.com slash turtlepowerpod. What's that site? Patreon.com slash TurtlePowerPod. There we go. Pizza Power. Pizza Power. Flying saucers, I'm so high. Church. Get out of here. I'm so high. But get out of here then. Can I have some of that Moscow pizza special? Dude, welcome to it. I'm going to get crushed. You're going to hate it. Spoilers, I guess. So we're talking about episodes. If it was good. This pizza's so fucking good. Church, it's, 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 it's vodka potato pizza. It's real bad. You watched us make it, dude. It's awful. Oh, I love it so much. All right, we're just going to let him do his thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't want to get near him. It looks like I might lose a finger. <laughs> God damn, he loves that. I know. His, his nose is in it. Church, don't get addicted to that cuz I can't make that for you. You'll die tomorrow if I Won't feed that make to it. you. Yeah, it's awful. God damn. Well, let's talk about the show, buddy. Just all the grease and calories. It's just not a good choice. It's not a good choice. Well, okay, let's let's put that aside. Bassum, do you yes. think it was a good episode? I, or what's the other option? You know, the, I mean, it could be a bad episode, but are, do you think it's a good episode? I think it was a good episode. Cowabunga! You do? I do. Why, though? Because it just was fun to, it was kind of fun. We had a little bit of actual fighting. We got a lot of good jokes. I think there were actually good jokes in here that made me laugh. Yeah. And um, it wasn't, I mean, it was very typical story, but it was still like, I don't know. It's hard to explain, really. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. It's kind of weird. Do you have something to ask me? Do you think it was a good episode or a bad episode? Sorry, what? Do you think it was a good episode? Or a bad episode. Yeah, I thought it was a good episode. Cowabunga! What, but why? <laughs> what, but why, though? Um, it was silly. And even though I didn't agree with, like, Krang and Shredder's... Magic science? More like their plan. Like, I kind of believe all the magic science now. Like, that doesn't phase me anymore. <laughs> like, okay, whatever. Donnie said it, so that's fine. Um... It it did have some fun moments. Um, I'm really happy that the lesson actually came back. Um, this was a Mondo Fabuloso Woo! episode. I mean, that's got to be worth something. That is. So, yeah, I had a great time. And I had a great time uh, watching it with you, buddy. Well, that's great. It's great. That's great. Which how means... Well, how many cowabungas did we have? We had one cowabunga. <laughs> Which brings us up to 70 Calabungas. We points? had three? three fourth wall breaks. That puts 126 fourth wall breaks That's series wide. Great. In our opinion so far. Yep. And Results we got, may vary. Yeah. And we got six. two new pizzas. Oh. We got two new pizzas. But that means we have six Mondo Fabuloso episodes. Yeah. Since we started counting. So we're adding gumdrop choco chip pizza and ox. Uh, and uh, Von Schnitzel's Mongolian pizza to the list. So, um, I guess we can get... Oh, hang on a second. Who's who's this coming in? Hey! 
Hey, it's me. It's me. Hey, how's it going? It's going real bad. Why? Because I'm trying to do my new startup and fucking... Fucking Ben came over here. Ben? Sorry ass shit. Ben, our Patreon donor, Ben? Trying to steal my shit. What are you talking about? I've been working on a brand new product. What product? We take a dump and we put it in a box. Okay. And Ben's been dumping in boxes and trying to undercut my profits. What? He's he he came in and stole my my contact list for my customers and he He's dumping in boxes! Well, Ben sounds like a very devious son of a bitch, then. Ben, if I ever find you on the street, you're fucking dead! Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, man. Are you telling me that- So, Ben, this guy, thought that your stupid-ass idea of shitting in a box was good enough to copy and then committed a felony and stole customer information from you? Yes! I think that's- I think that's pretty far-fetched. What kind of proof do you have? Well- I followed that fucker, <laughs> and I went to old Mrs. Thratchit's house, and I opened that box of poop, and that wasn't my poop. How do you know? I know my poops. Man, Mr. Salesman. And that was that fucker Ben's poop. How do you know it's Ben's poop? <laughs> Taste I gotta go. I'm so mad. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. He was upset. Well, it sounds like this Ben guy deserves it. Sounds like he just got roasted. <laughs> what a weird roast. Hey, do you want to get roasted by a character of your choice on our show? Then you can go ahead and donate $5 to our Patreon, and you get to pick, or we can pick, and you get roasted. There you go. Ben was a good sport. He's a good man. He wanted us to roast him as a salesman. As a bad salesman because he said he does the impression at, at work. work. Yeah. Which is fantastic. Good on you. I think that voice kind of came from... It's a cross between uh, the the nerdy guy from Simpsons, like the guy that's always working at the theater. He's like, yes. oh, God. Yeah. Um, And like uh, the guy from uh, Glengarry Glen Ross. Who's that? Um... Oh, I forgot the actor's name. He's the the older guy, though. No, we talked about this literally last week. It's a cross between Jack Lemmon and uh, the guy from Simpsons. Great. So I guess we did talk about it, but that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. But, you know, I figured, you know, he paid to get roasted and yeah. support us. So why not get a history lesson? You get a little bit of, you get a little tidbit on the house. If you have not seen Glengarry Glen Ross, anyone Which out I there. Which I have not. Oh, you need to watch it. It's so good. I was... I, I want to real talk for a second. Can I roast you for a second and say it's... I think it's hilarious that our podcast recordings go... As soon as we're done, you forget about them. <laughs> What's interesting is like, I remember a lot of details from it. Yeah. But the details you remember are totally separate. Yeah. So like the stuff that I thought was just like tertiary, like off the cusp, like I don't care, is the stuff like you remember and people on twitter start commenting about shit yeah I, by the way if you haven't been on twitter following us this last week get on there because man there's been a lot of stuff happening this week with between us and michael and everyone it's been a lot of fun yeah you're missing out on some fun conversations it's fun we like our community yeah um church is on there that's true so glengarry glen ross just just youtube Glengarry Glen Ross, uh, Alec Baldwin. He's like in there for just a little bit, um, but he fucking steals the movie. But there was a time in my life when I was really depressed and I was uh, reading this cracked article. And I think it was actually David Wong, um, who's really awesome. He's the one that wrote like John Dies at the End. This book is full of spiders. The guy's amazing and hilarious. Um, but he was talking about how much that scene resonated with him because it's like the world doesn't care what you can do. The world cares about what you've done. So it's like, uh, like everyone has something they can kind of like bring to the table. So I actually, I actually wrote a list. I'm like, I was feeling kind of down on myself. So I watched that scene, read the cracked article and like wrote down, 
all the things that like I can do or I've done or the things I can make. And the list surprised me and I felt really good about myself. And I've kind of remembered that uh, going on and I feel like it's given me a lot more opportunity good. in life. Good. So go check it out. Go check it out. Yeah. And I will we'll watch the movie. Yeah. Or at least the, the well, I probably have to watch the clip now with uh, Alec Baldwin. Yeah. It's only a few minutes. Yeah. Um, That's my real talk. Yeah. This has been Cranston's Real Talk. Are you ready for Cranny's Correspondence Corner? Did you like Cr- Cranny's Real Talk time? Well, now you get ready for Cranny's Correspondence Corner. Come on down to the Correspondence Corner. Yeehaw. Last week, we had a wonderful game of Fuck Many, Mary Kill. It's fuck Many, Kill. Fuck Many. <laughs> fuck Mary, Kill. Fuck Many, Comma, Kill. And uh, we were approached... For another question. Another fuck, Mary kill? Yeah. Hit me. That's not it. That's not it. It's a duck player says, Street Shark Show! 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 Thank you. You're welcome. This has been Cranston's Correspondence Score. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> okay. This is from Hallis. FMK. Uh, it's a... Smashed it into... Fuck Mary he, FMK. he or she asks Eesh. Turtle Power Pod at Turtle Power Pod. That's how you reach us on Twitter. Hello. Hashtag fuck, hashtag Mary, hashtag kill. Yes. Judith Hogue, Paige Turco, or Megan Fox. Hint, there is only one answer. April O'Neil from the first Ninja Turtles movie. Uh-huh. April O'Neil from the second Ninja Turtles movie. Yeah. And Megan Fox, who is April O'Neil from the new to Ninja Turtles movies. The actress changed in the first two movies. Yeah. Um so I feel bad picking a real person to kill, well, to be completely honest. That's fair, but I mean Um oh God. Here I have my answer. Go ahead. The first two Aprils are really technically the same character. Uh but just played differently, right? But he's not saying the character, he's saying know, the I know. actress. I know, I know. All right, all right, all right, all right. I would all right. I would Fuck Paige Turco. I would marry Judith Hogue. And then I would kill Megan Fox because I wouldn't want to do either of the other things to her because Michael Bay is so deep in her. <laughs> you don't want the sloppy seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Bay and Shia LaBeouf. I don't think Shia LaBeouf got any of that. <laughs> Let's be honest. I like Shia LaBeouf. Did you hear that weird theory, say. which I think might be... 100 percent true is this about shia labeouf uh shia it's kind of it's like that um megan fox's character fuck in the transformers movie like her her name is very like her name is like michelle byford or something like that in the transformers movies which is very close to like a female michael bay and then mark Wahlberg is also plays a character with a very similar name who wears a trucker hat and is a super ripped version of Michael Bay like he's like he's like he's dream fulfillment himself into these movies yeah i mean why not <laughs> michael bay has got lots of money and they throw lots of money at him to make a movie it's like fuck it do what you want yeah um i would probably kill Is Judith Hogue the first April? Yes. She's probably the oldest, so I'd probably kill her because she's probably lived the longest she's life. She's had a good run. She's. I hope so. I would Before I did, I would go, this hurts me more than it hurts you, and then I would take her life. Great. So I guess I would fuck Megan Fox, man. Uh, I mean, that's not a bad choice, if we're being honest. It's back to that posterity thing. Yeah. It's like, I don't care how attractive you think Megan Fox is. I guarantee you that it's easy to look at people on a screen and like compare them like side by side and be like, oh, I totally fuck her, but not her. No, when you see them in real life, you'd be like, oh my God, she's perfect. <laughs> right? So yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then uh, Paige Turco, I guess I would marry you, which is, I remember you the least. 
Um, How dare you? So I hope uh, I hope we can make it work. But uh, you know, you're older than I am, so hopefully, you know, you can help me out. You can teach me how to be a good adult. I hope you're supportive. I'll be supportive of you if you be supportive of me. Um, and you'll have to be the one to tell Natalie. So call me. Well, great. That has been answered then. Yep. <laughs> Anything else we want to say? Uh, I'm curious if we were right compared to your interpretation. Oh Cause yeah, because they, they said there's only one answer. Yeah, I think one of I think the main answer would be either they're saying the only real answer is to kill Megan Fox or, or the fuck only fuck Megan Fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Depends on the kind of person. Yeah, because a lot of people are like yeah, Megan Fox ruined all the movies. It's like we'll stop seeing movies with Megan Fox in it, and then they won't make them as much. But people are seeing them. See, I don't care. I don't like Transformers, but I don't wish hurtful things on anyone. In Transformers. Sure, sure. Because there are lots of people. But that... you like Ninja Turtles. She was in that. Yeah, I I didn't like her in it, but that doesn't change my opinion on Megan Fox. Sure. Fair enough. I think people just need to chill out a little bit. All. Well, then the game doesn't exist. And where would we be without Fuck, Mary Kill as a society? I'm just shit. I'm sorry I ruined the podcast. It's the three pillars. I fucking ruined the podcast. I'm so sorry. Fuck it. Can I talk to you guys real quick? Bassam has a gun to my head and I don't know what the fuck to do. If someone on the Twitter community can please call 911 uh, in two weeks, that'd be really great. Thank I can't you. wait to listen to this while editing and hear what he's saying. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> Fucking call out people. Anyway, so if you want to reach us, you can email us at turtlepowerpod at gmail.com. We're on Twitter. At turtlepowerpod. Hashtag turtlepowerpod. Well, no, not really. Hashtag at the game is on at turtlepowerpod.com. And uh, <laughs> you can, let's say it one more time, you can go find our Patreon at patreon.com slash turtlepowerpod. Hey, you guys like Geek Fuel? You can go to geekfuel.com slash turtlepowerpod and buy a Geek Fuel box. That's true. If you don't want Geek Fuel, don't do it. Just support the Patreon. Yeah, that's fair. Do you, How do you guys feel about ads? Would you guys rather we didn't do this Geek Fuel thing? Um, is that annoying? I'm curious your opinion. Even if you're neutral, just say you're neutral. Yeah, that's. I would love to hear some more info. Because if you guys hate it, we, I would be willing to talk about going without the sponsorship stuff. And I am a greedy son of a bitch. We like, yeah. If there's a way we can recoup some costs, I don't feel like it's bad to do it. But if you guys this think- shitty ass pizza cost me twenty five <laughs> bucks today. Oh my fucking god! Yeah. <laughs> well, you bought a bottle of nice vodka. Nice. I thought it was nice. It was like twenty five dollar bottle of vodka. Eh. You can do a hell of a lot worse. That's true. <laughs> there's always a there's always another bottle on the lower shelf that you got to wipe the dust off. <laughs> yeah. That's usually the whiskey I buy. Yeah. Well, anyway, anyway, we love you. Have a great night or day or day. Have a wonderful time. Fantastic. Turtle pa 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 power. Turtle power. Hey, you guys got any more of that fucking Moscow pizza? Oh, I'm Jones and Ford. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm fucking dying, man.